So they are? Okay. Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm in Utah. I've been here for a week and I'm working on my movie called Mistletones. I play the lead, which requires me to be on set around the clock. It's so cool though, singing and acting to a track. I've never done that in my entire life. Oh. And way back. Way back. Way back. I'm really enjoying my time in Utah, and I'm really happy that I brought Cree, but working these long hours have been really hard, and it's hard trying to balance being a mom and a working actress. I don't want to be that mom that's running her lines and feeding her baby at the same time. Very nice. Hi, Ina. Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so I just talked to Ryan. Okay. It'll be another um, wardrobe change. Oh, really? Yeah, so we'll have to come back here later. So, Alina, mm -hmm. Ridva just sent me another picture of Cree. Let me see it. I miss him. I miss my booger. He's getting big. I know. He's big. But it's like I don't want to miss these moments with him, you know? Because yeah. I'm here at work. And so that kind of just makes me feel a little sad, you know? Yeah. Last night, I didn't even get to see him at all when he was asleep. Hopefully this weekend you'll get to, you know, spend more time, time with, with him because, yeah, tonight might be another late night. It is. I'm not going to so, be able to see him at all. Yeah. When he goes so to bed. So maybe tomorrow or... Tomorrow, Alina, I'm working tomorrow. Oh, that's right. Because <laughs> I'm really missing him bad. I, I just, the other day, when I saw him, I just started crying because I was just holding him because, you know, I miss him. I love that he looks just like both of you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? It's our love child. The love child. <laughs> okay. I'm really enjoying working on this movie. It's a lot of hard work, but it's just reminding me how much I love my job. On the other hand, I am sacrificing a lot to be here. And cut. Cut, cut, cut. Good. Tia, here's your water with lemon. And uh, Ripka actually just uh, sent you a text. Yeah. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, it's Cree! Oh my rolling. gosh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, look at him, look at how cute he looks. Oh he my god. He looks like god, you right there. Right? <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my god, is he about to crawl? Yeah. <gasps> oh so my god. I knew that doing this movie would take me away from my son, but I was hoping I wouldn't miss any milestones. I was really proud to see Cree crawl, but I really wish that I would have been there. It's happening so fast. I just finished shooting and Cree has been sleeping for hours. I haven't had the chance to tell Corey about Cree crawling because I didn't want to tell him through a text message. I wanted to tell him over the phone so I could hear his reaction. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm a little tired. Had a long day today. You're working hard, and you hardly work. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the first one. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Corey, guess what? What? Guess who is crawling? Cree Fowler? Cree is crawling, Corey. And how I knew, he's not doing the role. He's not no, role. He's, he's not crawling, crawling. Corey. He is crawling, crawling. And I was on set, and Ridva sent me a video. Because yes, Corey. But you know the thing that just kind of just bothered me. You know, I was just a little sad as I missed it. I wanted us to be the first ones to see it. Okay, I would love to see it all, but I'll just. I'll give him a call in front of me, and it'll be my first time seeing him, so I'll still be just excited, you know? Oh, okay. That's a good perspective yeah, okay. to have, you know? I mean, I can't wait to see, you know, get some sports, and we're going to see him do all of that stuff. That's going to be exciting, you know? Yeah. Ride a bike, you know, just put on his little helmet. 
But what if I'm working then and I miss that too? That's okay. It's, it's fine. It's Why fine. is it okay? Why is it fine? You know, it'll, it'll be better once you get some downtime and, you know, just spend more time with him and not work You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He probably wants to see his dad too. No, I know. I think, yeah, he misses you. It's just kind of hard finding that balance. And then, you know, perfect thing. What? I can help you out. What? Take him to set, and that way you can see him all day. Okay, I'll do it. I think that's a great suggestion. I know it's hard for Corey to be away from Cree and miss these moments, but he had a great perspective on it. Corey's advice to bring Cree to set will hopefully relieve some of this guilt that I've been feeling not being at home with him, and that's why I absolutely love my husband. Thanks, Corey. I miss you. I miss you, too, and I love you. I can't wait to see you and Cree. I can't wait to see you, too. Hi! What's up, sis? What's up with you, homie? Nothing much, how sunny California. It's not so sunny, but it's not as cold as where you are. Girl, it is so freaking cold out here. You look warm. I do? <laughs> it's like you look like you just want to kind of just like cuddle up where I'm like in my workout gear. Yeah, that is so funny. But how are you? I'm good. Um, just working like crazy. And um, Tamara, you will not believe this. Guess who's crawling? Like crawling, crawling? Crawling, crawling. He's not like rolling anymore. He's like full on crawling, Tamara. The thing is, is that I wasn't there when he first started crawling at all, which sucks. Yeah, how did you feel about that? Um, I felt sad. Cree is gonna grow naturally. Cree is gonna do what babies do naturally. I was a little frustrated because, you know, I leave at the dusk. No, I leave at dawn. No, wait, which one is it? I'm so tired. I leave when the sun is gone and I come back when the sun is gone. <laughs> I know you're laughing now, but will you ever be at a point where you're going to be like, you know what? I want to take a break and spend time with Creep. Why are you looking at me like I'm funny? You're giving me the stink face. You know, and you give me that stink face and you're like, Ew, like, what is she talking about? Yeah, because I'm like, what is she talking about? I'm just responding on what you're saying. And as a sister, I'm trying to help. Basically what you're implying is I need to stop working right now so I can spend some more time not, with my son, I'm correct? Not, I'm not, I'm not, it's okay to work. All I'm saying is, is when are you gonna be able to, to say no? I completely understand where you're coming from, but unfortunately you are not in my situation. The reality of the situation is, is that I have to work. Where do you draw the line? Where are you gonna draw the line? Where you're like, you know what? Instead of doing five projects a year, I'm just gonna do three. Because right now what it feels like is you're gonna do all five. In this business, what I believe, and I think that's where our different perspectives are, is that you are okay with sitting back and you feel in your mind that roles, when roles are for you, they will come up for you. I don't feel that way. I feel that this business and this world moves along whether you wanna be in it or not. Because when we did Sister Sister, we were I, we didn't have a show for seven years. I don't know when that next time is gonna come where I'm not gonna be working. So there could be another seven years where I'm not working. And guess what? I have a child that I have to take care of. First of all, I did work during those seven years. But if you're fine with doing that, with the life that you're gonna lead right now, you are gonna miss milestones, but if you're fine with that, go ahead. Now that I know that that's how you wanna live and you're living, I'm fine. Wait, this is just the wine and the beer mini, Alina. What better way to have uh, start your day off than? I know, with some wine and some beer. I'm just so happy to like get away for a minute, you know? Yeah. So anyway, I talked to Tamara a couple of days ago, and we were just talking about the whole thing about Cree and just like the family balance and stuff like that. Quite frankly, it's very hard for me to get advice from somebody who doesn't really understand what I'm going through. 
And I think that's what makes Tamir and I's relationship sometimes challenging. Mm -hmm. We have different views and perspectives on life, but we're sisters. You are going through different things yeah. at different points at different times. times. She hears me saying how sad I am and how frustrated I am about not being around Cree, but she's saying that basically I should do something about that. But unfortunately, I need to work. She knows, as an actor, money comes and money goes. Right, because you're not going to always have an opportunity available. You're not. It's like, your career is to be an actress, Yeah. to work, but then you don't want to miss out on being a human being, yeah. normal, and having yeah. a family. And, and I think what I have taken from Tamira's conversation is, even though there are opportunities out there, maybe there is a time that I have to demand time for myself. Mm -hmm. What Tamira needs to understand is, I am a working mom, just like millions of other moms out there. But yes, I do need to get better at balancing being a mom with my career. I have realized that there will be a time where I'm gonna be a stay-at-home mom and I'm gonna enjoy that moment yeah. until the next opportunity comes up. <laughs> next audition. Yeah. <laughs>